This is the world's most simplest logic gates, the fundamentals of and, or, and not. But why did I create it, you may ask. It all started one day when I was teaching logic gates to my students. So we have A and B going into an AND gate, which is knotted. Then we have C and D. D goes as double OR. And then this is exclusive OR with a knot. And all this is going into AND, AND with a zero. So just be careful there. And tell me what is P. Are you guys understanding this? What's a gate? We've been studying gates for the last month. You still don't know what a gate is? No, they would never understand this stuff. How am I going to ever teach them? Wait, I have an idea. Fun. Fundamentals. Uh, there has to be something that I can build that can help them understand. Do you guys understand how it works now? Great. Thanks for watching this part. You can stay tuned and I'll show you how I designed and built this so you can build your own logic gate circuit. So let's have a look at the logic gates fundamentals and the basic uh, gates are AND, OR, and NOT. And these are used in your computer and basically they're uh, like a gate that allows the electricity to flow based on some conditions based on the type of gate. For example, an AND gate has two inputs, A and B, and the output is C. And this is a truth table that shows you the inputs and outputs. And all the combinations of A and B could be 0, 0. That means they're both off. If A and B are off, the output is off. And if one or the other one's on, um, they are off as well. Only when A is 1 and B is 1, then the output is 1. And so my little diagram here is if you push in these two buttons on the AND, this LED will light up like it's a gate. The OR, it is on if either OR or both of them are on. Okay. And the NOT is inversion. Basically, when the button is not pushed down, the light is on and when you push the button the light turns off and that's the not gate right here so when you push that on this light will turn off and this one you can put either or and this light will turn on and so this is the the diagram the schematic basically to make it simple I use uh, buttons as switches so the the logic for and is if both uh, buttons are pushed down they're in series if this goes down and this button goes down it allows the electricity to flow through this LED or they're in parallel so if if one it, a switch goes down the electricity can flow through here or it can throw uh, flow through here as well then it'll go down here not is always on it's connected from VCC to ground um, and the button here, what happens is it just shorts out this uh, LED because electricity goes the shortest route because there's some resistance here. And so when you press this button, it's going to flow through here, through this, uh, and it all, the, all the LEDs go through a 2K ohm resistor just so that I don't burn out my eyes when I look at this because it is quite bright and it's using the uh, 2032 coin battery which is nice because it can just pop in there so i'll show you in detail the steps about how to that we built it so the materials that you need are three leds and five push buttons and one 2k ohm resistor i push in the push buttons um, like this and using the side of a table you can use that to help you push in the buttons again this project doesn't need any glue 
should be in there nice and firm so when you push on it the buttons don't, don't fall out. Then you're going to use a little bit of solder and um, solder in the legs and bend them in this uh, orientation. You can see that the middle one are in series and parallel. So we so you have to just double check the orientation of the buttons like what we showed in the schematic. Then what you're going to do is take your LED and notice that the tall um, leg is positive and you want to make sure the positive is going towards the button and so with that um, we're going to have a common ground. Just bend up those uh, the anodes up to the buttons and then the cathodes we're going to go to the push button just putting a little bit of solder on the these locations here because each of those will represent our gate then you're going to take your resistor on the third pin the not one because we don't want to we don't have a jumper wire so we're going to use the resistor as the jumper wire so that we can get the VCC off that rail to on the buttons because what we're going to break is the VCC rail and then just have the common uh, ground so we just uh, use the VCC pet and then we'll solder up the, the common uh, ground on each of those LEDs and pushing the resistor and just wrap the wire around to the front just like that so when we push in the push button that will connect to the positive and so uh, pushing in the push button there you'll see it's a nice snug fit and then we can just use uh, friction to break that wire and we need that wire because we're going to solder it on to the knot uh, leg for our last switch so put a little bit of solder there and then solder it on to the leg of the last diode for our knot gate and that will act like our push button so as we push we're connecting to the ground on that coin and so when you just hold the device it turns on and you see the lights on indicating that it's working and then you can see the knot gate is working there and or and it's a good design because it doesn't require any other components for to turn on so that's the design Check the comments for the CAD files as well. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped out. If you enjoy electronics or want to learn about how to fix electronics, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.